वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज रैपिडली इवॉल्विंग सिचुएशन इन इथियोपिया रिलीजियस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्प्रेडिंग ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स गो अनाउंस्ड कंट्री वाइड डेमोस्ट्रेशन अगेंस्ट इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट डेट हैज बीन फाइनलाइज ऑन द ट्वेल्थ ऑफ फेबररी दिस डेमोस्ट्रेशन विल बी हेल्ड across ethiopia details for you because this announcement will have a serious implications the, the church leaders are going to be in addis ababa at maskel square in addis ababa there is prime minister palace there is office of oromia president shimalis several uh, uh important things we'll try to analyze in uh, this uh, video about the new announcement by the church secondly what happened uh, in oromia today uh several dioceses have been captured by the splinter orthodox faction uh details for you from east rc west rc west harare and southern oromia burana so which churches have come under their control under the control of new faction how many were killed in shashamane today where is abune yusuf details for you i'm trying to cover this conflict uh, as uh, impartially as is possible uh, since this morning i've been trying to update this is third video about this ongoing religious conflict uh, and i think i have compiled more than a dozen videos so far uh, to keep you updated about this uh, new conflict in ethiopia first live yours holy synod uh, met after today's uh, incidents uh, in oromia meeting was held and a few minutes ago the synod uh, the patriarch issued a statement the statement firstly condemns what happened in uh, oromia in shashamane today that uh, churches were allegedly taken by force by the splinter faction uh, uh, priests church officials were arrested they were tortured and some were killed too some orthodox believers were killed too church is calling it an invasion uh, of the church by government forces that government forces are supporting the invasion of churches uh, by this group secondly uh, the church is saying that uh, followers of non orthodox denominations and other religions were part of the mobs which stormed uh, churches orthodox churches in oromia today it's a serious allegation uh, without naming anyone uh, church is not saying that protestants muslims or others but church says that there were non orthodox elements in today's uh, crowds which uh, stormed orthodox churches in oromia then abune yare Uh, his mansion into a statement by the church that uh, he is uh, from RC, I think, uh, from East RC Bishop, and uh, he was arrested last night, and he was uh, packed and sent to Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Uh, the church further condemns illegal uh, jailing of uh, the priests, workers, etc., and then. church is uh, calling for pray for those who were killed uh, by security forces today in oromia church is reiterating its call for wearing of black dress call for orthodox followers that uh, from monday uh ninave fasting will start a three day long fasting so that is why all orthodox followers in and out of ethiopia must wear black as a protest against what is happening that church is being uh, uh attacked by uh, a faction uh, supported by the government 
And then, lastly, very importantly, the church has announced a date of a protest against the government. If you remember, two days ago, the church announced that it would protest, but no date was announced. Now, the Holy Synod, after today's incidents, has decided that uh, on the 12th of February, uh, which would be, I think, 5th of February, Ethiopian calendar, on the 12th of February at uh, uh, around uh, 7, uh, at 5 a.m., prayer will start at uh, all Orthodox churches in Ethiopia. From seven, uh, from five till seven thirty, the prayer will be held. At eight a.m., bells will be rung. At eight thirty, all Orthodox believers will move from churches to the mescal squares in their towns and cities. And in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital as well, Orthodox followers will gather at Mescal Square. It means that the church wants a nationwide protest on the 12th of February. I think it would be Sunday on the 12th of February. Not this Sunday, but Sunday after uh, the coming Sunday. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday and after uh, that next Sunday. On next Sunday, uh, this demonstration will be held. Now, this announcement has serious implications. Why people are angry after what happened in Uruimi today. Uh, unknown number of people uh, have been killed in Uruimi today. And if tens of thousands gather at Mescal Square in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital, how will the church leadership stop angry mob? There is uh, Prime Minister Palace in Addis Ababa. There is uh, Prosperity Party headquarters there. There is uh, Romia region President Shimalis Abdisa's office on Bole Road in Addis Ababa. There is Bole Airport. There is uh, headquarters of Ethiopian army. It, this announcement, it could have serious implications. If the crowd gets out of control, people are angry. The church has decided to show its strength to Ethiopian government. The church is flexing muscles that its authority is being challenged, that government is backing the supplant of action, Roma faction, led by Bune Sarios, Bune uh, Estuatsios, Zinamarcos. That is why church is now going to flex its muscles. So, coming one week, very crucial viewers. Uh, before that, tomorrow is crucial because tomorrow, uh, Bahedar Diocese uh, is going to protest. How big this protest uh, will be, that remains to be seen. Both Abune Abraham and Abune uh, Petros, two top men after uh, uh, the Patriarch, they are from this area, from Gajam, I think, Baidar. So, uh, we could see massive gathering, uh, though there are concerns that uh, uh, people could use this occasion to uh, chant slogans in support of Fano. Fano uh, of the Amhara region is mainly based in Gajam and Gajam Fano commanders, they have been in prison. Some are on the run, Zemine Kasi in prison. Uh, let's see, will there be united stand? Uh, uh, in Bahirdar tomorrow, that remains to be seen. And we are going to see uh, protests across the world, mainly, especially in the US tomorrow too. But mainly, we'll see what, what, what is going to happen in Bahirdar tomorrow. Now, what happened today uh, in Oromia? Uh, how many dioceses have been taken by this new faction? We know that they are already in control of East Valaga, West Valaga, uh, and maybe Jima too. Uh, mainly East Valaga, West Valaga. And today, after use of force, they have taken control of uh, West RC2, Shashamani. They have captured St. Michael's Church after resistance from locals, from 
Orthodox Church followers loyal to Bune Matias group. Police used force. It fired. How many have been killed? It's not clear. I won't uh, share any number with you. But reportedly several have been killed. I have a number but I don't want to create panic. So uh, I am waiting for some official uh, to speak. Because a sensitive issue. But several have been killed in Shashamani today. Security forces uh, dispersed the people who were at St. Michael's Church and then security forces allowed this new faction to enter the church. Hararge, West Hararge, Chiro, where uh, in the morning uh, people uh, said they were being supported by uh, the police, people, uh, followers loyal to Bunimathis group. But reportedly in the evening, uh, the Sabrina faction uh, bishops, they entered uh, West Hararge, Chiro. Thirdly, uh, East RC. Uh, there, again, we are hearing reports that uh, this uh, new faction, not new faction, uh, Sabrina faction, uh, it has taken control of churches. Lastly, uh, Saddan, uh, uh, Romeo, Burana. Here, uh, we have seen some pictures, videos about the arrival of new bishops appointed by the Supreme faction. So, you see that uh, East RC, West RC, West Hararge, Burana, East Valaga, West Valaga, uh, these dioceses have come under the control of this new faction. Shova, this faction has not made a move on Shova so far. Shova has a large Amhara population. Uh, but uh, now we can say that uh, uh, majority of Rousies uh, in Romia have come under the control of this new faction, separate faction. Where is Abune Yusuf, uh, Archbishop of uh, R.C. Sidama, who arrived in Shashaman? He said he was there to be a martyr. To lay down his life for the church. He arrived in Shashamane, but then uh, he was uh, forced to leave. And reportedly he is in Sidama, in Havasa. Uh, so he had to leave uh, Shashamane. Overall, it's a very alarming situation. People in power have not learned a lesson from Tigray conflict. Tigray conflict started because... Uh, differences could not be resolved politically peacefully. Same is happening here. Differences could not be resolved peacefully. Use of force is being seen. Both sides, uh, I mean, uh, the Orthodox Church led by Bune Matis uh, asked people to protect churches. And they went to churches. There was confrontation. Both sides are using their uh, strength. Their, their, their Flexing their muscles and they are showing their muscles too. Uh, and that is leading to confrontation. People are dying. Innocent Orthodox followers are dying. So far, no uh, intervention by the government to resolve the conflict. Government forces in Oromia are openly supporting the splinter Oromo Orthodox faction. And uh, Orthodox Church is now openly accusing the government that government is attacking the church. So coming uh, days, this week is a very crucial words for peace and stability in Ethiopia. This new conflict uh, which is unfolding, uh, it, it can envelop entire Ethiopia if better sense did not prevail. Let's see what happens on the 12th of uh, February when uh, the protest will be held by Orthodox Church across Ethiopia. Thank you for watching.